Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Way Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q. And today, I am back with part two in a two-part series, my first series, as a matter of fact, on the Tremendous Q Cook It channel, all right? Now, whether you tripped over the channel or you got here intentionally, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content. For everybody that's returning to the channel, all my returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you guys' support, all right? Now, on the last video, you guys saw the Ophir Grill. You saw the cook setup. You saw my friend Darcy talk to him, uh, talk to you guys about his first time cooking on the grill, and then his second time coming back as the pit master, and why he invited me. And then you guys also met the owners. All right, you met Tonya, who actually owns the grill, and she owns a beautiful estate here in Belgium. And it is her grill, and how it is that they actually ended up getting the Ophir okay now in today's video we're going to be looking at the actual cook and this is I know what you guys have been waiting for okay the cook on this thing was absolutely amazing the aromas from the herbs the rosemary the different proteins the veggies you guys it turned out absolutely amazing and this grill is definitely going to be at the top of my wish list moving forward all right so with that I'm not going to say anything more let's go ahead and jump into the Ophir grill part two we'll look at the cook process in today's video all right let's check it out all right so picking up where we right where we left off the little with the little sneak peek the other week okay so we're starting off with some huge and i do mean huge pork chops all right we we're, got four pork chops we're going to be cooking them three different ways we got two that are just plain salt and pepper um, one we hit with some salt and pepper and like some other herbs, um, garlic, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. And then we had a uh, fourth one that we knocked out some homemade chili ch chimichurri using some of the herbs from the garden. And speaking of herbs from the garden, uh, I'm actually going to be switching it up. Normally when I do pork chops, I throw them right on the grill and let the fire kids do its thing. But, you know, because we got a Ophir, uh, I'm going to be a little bit extra. And we are going to be cooking our pork chops on the rosemary once it gets heated up, okay? Now, the the rosemary is fresh from uh, from Bruce and Tonya's garden. We got a couple of the sprigs, couple of the sprigs uh, picked, and we're gonna throw them on the planche and we're gonna let them heat up, all right? This is the pork chop with the chimichurri. Here's a close-up of all four. While the rosemary is heating up, I got the pork chops on either side and those are we're getting that nice char on the outside before we set them on top of the rosemary now the reason that we i did this is for the the flavor okay now you're still going to get that flavor on the pork chops but i wanted that char and it wouldn't it would have been a little bit more difficult to do if it didn't hit the grill right away all right now check this out nice surprise for you guys <laughs> all that grease from that port hit that fire and boom now this is one of my favorite things about the ophir the cleanup is is about as easy as it gets on any grill you take a scraper and you scrape everything into the center where you got your heat source going all right now let's head over and get our steaks thrown on now that we got our cleanup done like that that you guys i, I seriously just on that cleanup it's probably my favorite part because I just made a video the other week of what it takes, all the elbow grease that it takes to clean these grill braids. This plancha is super, super, super simple to clean, okay? Now, we got the pork chops going. They're on, we got the char on the outside, got the rosemary. Now we got our steaks on, and we are going to add a little bit more fire or wood to our fire to make sure that we keep our plancha, our Ophir, nice and hot all right you see how quickly it, it lights up since we got a good bit of coals going so on top as you guys can see we got some onions and some garlic we're going to be adding a little mushroom to those a little bit later okay and then from the butcher we're actually going to be throwing on some not twice baked but uh, essentially twice baked potatoes except the second time uh they're not being baked we're going to throw these things on the ophir and they're going to cook 
through through the bottom and uh, i'm gonna tell you sneak peek on these uh, you guys uh, i didn't get a good shot of us eating really any of the food but i'm gonna tell you these potatoes were absolutely amazing all right now let's go ahead and get our steaks turned over okay now with the with the steaks what i did like about uh, what i did like about these was they were seasoned good you know we I, I added salt pepper i kept it super simple with the steaks but i i just like the way that they cooked on this ophir it was on a hotter side as a as opposed to the the cooler side where the pork chops were okay now adding beer to our mushrooms up on top i told you guys a couple seconds ago that that top part is directly over the heat we got the fire going and those mushrooms are going to taste great on top of our steaks okay and of course, there's nothing complete without bacon. <laughs> I don't care what you're doing. Bacon makes literally everything taste better. All right. Now let's get in here and we're going to flip our bacon so that it doesn't get too done too fast on any one particular side. All right. The bacon, as you can see, we got an open fire. The grease from the bacon, you definitely got to be careful that you don't get any flare ups or you don't get a grease fire while you're cooking uh while you're cooking the bacon okay and that just goes for any pork in general but uh any meat in general i'm sorry but you know bacon carries a lot of fat uh, a lot of fat it's it's like 70 percent fat so just make sure you guys are being careful with the uh with the proteins that you don't get any flare ups okay now let's get the bacon off and put on some of our some of our veggies okay the the veggies are they were mostly for aesthetics but obviously you can eat them as well so now that we got our mushrooms stirred up a little bit i'm gonna come back and boom we got some peppers we got some onions we got some bell peppers yellow orange red we got some what else did we do we did asparagus both green and white asparagus and you guys the pictures on that these things produced oh, they were absolutely amazing okay we got oh, uh, we got bruce over there flipping the uh flipping the the burgers from from the butcher while i'm finishing putting the veggies on this thing now again one thing i like about the ophir is just basically how you can it, it is kind of easy to control the temperature okay uh you want to make sure that you cook your veggies on a decently hot side of the ophir you want that nice char on the outside okay now while i'm turning these if you guys have made it this far in the video go ahead and smash that subscribe button cut on those notifications all right i really appreciate you guys sticking through this far in the video we are almost done now I got another little surprise for you guys. In a couple of seconds, I'm gonna shut up and then I'm gonna cut the volume up so that you guys can hear the, the sound of everything on this pond. all right? Go ahead and check this out. Yeah, buddy, we got those pork chops sitting on top of that rosemary, all of our veggies, the asparagus, the onions, the chilies, burgers. Oh, you guys, this was this was one of the most fun cooks I've had since uh, since I've been in Belgium and probably even before that. Look at those potatoes. All right. And now we got the rest of our asparagus we're gonna throw on and the, some other veggies as well. We're just gonna throw them right on the top of the, the Ophir, the grill plate on top of the Ophir, get those over direct heat and get those cooked really fast since we are wrapping up our cook, okay? And that's pretty much it for the cook of this video. This is the second part. This is the Ophir in action. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was probably the one thing that you just don't think of when uh, when you're going to buy this grill. Wherever it is that you place it, make sure that it is someplace that you don't mind getting grease on the ground, okay? This is a, a con, I guess we'll call it. If you don't have a mat that you could set down under the Ophir to catch the grease on all sides, you just wanna make sure that you're careful of that, okay? With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video here on the channel, all right? Peace.